previously in our last episode. Picture it. The flyover state of Missouri, 1997. And just ahead... Charlie Brown's an asshole! OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience. Of two cats. Jay here from OG Creations. We've waited 364 days and it's finally here. Happy Halloween to all my ghoulish brothers and sisters. I hope each of you have fun and exciting plans for this evening. Yes. Go watch Charlie Brown and I'll be in in a minute. Charlie Brown's an asshole. Yeah, Lucy, you should be good at this. You have the perfect mouth for it. What? Filled with treats and tricks or filling tricks with your treat. Our yearly tradition of sacrificing children in his honor. It's a few jack-o'-lantern pizzas and a movie marathon with our favorite Halloween night movies. Drag me to hell, trick or treat, and of course, Hocus Pocus. Since today is Halloween, I wanted to create something that is spooktacular. Something that will make you want to live forever. What is that? A potion. What does it do? If you haven't guessed it by now, today's inspiration is pulled from all of my favorite witchy themed movies. I would like to talk about Death Becomes Her, Madeline ah! Ashton. No, stop! Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Practical Magic, The Craft, We are the weirdos, Mr. I would say The Covenant, but it's really just for that locker room scene, but you can see better shit on X. I'm going to craft a swirly, whirly potion filled with red and blue hued purples while utilizing the fabric's black base. I will then enchant them all by applying a shimmering glitter adhesive. So let's begin by calling the corners. Make sure your familiar is by your side. Yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a fucking in a mop for this wet ass pussy. And then we'll transfigure these items into our bubbling potion. I am Newt and Toad of Frog. Will a bat tongue a dog? Let's get started. I'm starting with a black 100% cotton men's t-shirt and black 95% cotton 5% spandex briefs and thongs that have both been ran through the laundry to remove any residual dyes and cotton fibers. They are all loosely crumpled and then a 2 to 1 bleach solution is randomly applied and allowed to process for 20 minutes. I transfer them to soak in a 10 to 1 peroxide solution for 20 minutes. I rinse them under cold water for about 10 minutes, and then I run them through the laundry again to remove any additional chemicals or dyes. They are soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes before I set them aside for 24 hours until they're practically dry. Back on my dye racks, they're loosely crumpled again.
I apply my dye powders in shades of blue violet, imperial purple, nightshade, and hydrangea. I top everything with a thick layer of soda ash and then ice.
Once the ice is completely melted, everything is set aside for 48 hours to cure in a 70 degree space. They are all rinsed in cold water, and then I slowly increase the temperature to hot to remove any additional soda ash. They are then ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. They are then dried and ironed. I then lay them flat on my work table. Using Tulip Brand Fabric Spray Paint Glitter Adhesive, I apply sprays of the adhesive in the color Glittering Diamond to the darkest area of the shirt, briefs, and thongs. Warning. Now a warning? You need to be extremely careful when you're applying the adhesive, especially to the undies. This bottle doesn't spray, it spurts. And the last thing you want is a load you said load of glue drying to a milky white you said milky white finish on the pouch of your briefs. To resolve this, have plenty of paper towels on hand and blot, stipple, dab, whatever you want to call it, until you are left with just the pure glitter directly on your fabric. If you want to have a more glitter finish to a specific area, allow it to completely dry and then apply and repeat that same process. I allow this to dry for 24 hours before flipping all the items over and repeating the same process to the back. Once you're completely happy with the amount of glitter you have on your items, they are set aside for 72 hours to completely dry. I then place them in my inventory and add them to my Etsy store ready for purchase. You can get these and similar items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. I know the glitter is more of a temporary effect and after a number of washes, especially if it's not taken care of, it will disappear. But right now, at this time, it's a shimmery piece of magic, and I absolutely love the way these turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or just want to leave a comment, make sure to do so in the section below. I love responding to everyone, and plus, it really does help with this algorithm for new viewers to find my channel. So comment away! As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. Always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Keep rosemary by your garden gate. Plant lavender for luck and fall in love whenever you can. Be careful, and most importantly, have fun out there tonight. Happy Halloween to you all, and I'll actually see you tomorrow.